How we doing guys and welcome it's Kraken here we're back in seven days to die navs game day number two so we've just chilled out for the night time because we're not strong enough really to go out and do anything yet so here we go i'm going to put a frame over here in the corner i know it's a little bit dark and we're going to quickly upgrade him there we go there we go so we've got a frame over here in the corner and we're going to build ourselves a quick campfire. Put on there. And then we've got our cooking pot that we can interact with. And we can drop a single cooking pot in there. Get our light source back out again. And we can put one straight into here. So we need to just go out and quest, quest, quest. Now we've got this grave digger mod here. We're going to take that with us because we have a buried supplies just down the road here. So we took that as a job from the trader yesterday. So we're going to make our way out in that direction and go and have a look at this buried treasure. Now, if we get hit by a zombie and get infected, we're going to need something to cure that infection. These tree stumps here have a chance of dropping honey so they're worth knocking up and you've got a chance of gaining some honey when you've completed it so there we go we actually got a jar of honey there so very useful tip there if you ever see those tree stumps out they are worth using have we got a zombie after us big one as well we've got opie so we found the treasure it's flashing up in our mini map we're in the right spot but we are going to have to deal with this guy here we sort him out we've set him alight he's not going to be dying just yet come on oh, we've upset him really upset now he's made us bleed get our bandage out that's why we leave our bandages up here he's still running and there we go that's why i keep my bandages on the hot bar working somebody else up oh here we go and we've got a worker we don't know who our zombie is today Come on, down you go. We've got treasure. There we go. Right, I sorted him out. There's nest. There's any eggs? A few feathers, right. So here we go. So as you can see in the mini map at the top, we've got the treasure flashing. So if we just go onto the map and zoom in, we're just on one side of it slightly. So if we go down like this. There we go. That's pretty much on it. Now we do need to make ourselves a few plant fibers, which you can't get when you're using the club. So we're going to need to punch up some grass. We're going to need to make ourselves a stone shovel. A stone shovel isn't very good, but again, it can be fixed just by using stone rather than having to use a repair kit but we've got the grave digger mod which does more damage against dirt we're going to put that into it just to make it a little bit a little bit better have we moved off the treasure we have slightly we're going to move ourselves back onto it a little bit further there we go Pretty much dead over the treasure so we're gonna now dig down it should be about two blocks down so two spots down we found the buried treasure now we are going to get some zombies spawning when we open that so we need to make sure we've got a nice easy safe and secure way to quickly get out of this hole i'm just going to dig up this little bit here on the side 
hopefully make it a bit easier just to jump out because we're going to want a GTFO. There we go. We should be able to get out of there nice and fine. Get our club at the ready. Grab that. And we're just going to empty it out. And we'll have a look at that in a minute. Ooh. Straight into a zombie. Let's not even worry about him. And we're going to get straight off to the trailer. So we're back at the trader. The trader is now open. He opens just after six. So if you do start the day nice and early, bright and early, bushy tailed at four o'clock, don't come straight to the trader because you won't get in. Right, what did we get in that treasure? So we got ourselves a bit of clay soil for doing a bit of digging. We've got a recipe here for bacon and eggs. So we're going to read that. Now that brings me on to my next point, which we didn't go through yesterday, was about the books so with these we got a couple of books yesterday great heist and we got one here as well in wasteland treasures when you get all seven of the books you then get an extra reward so things like the batter up which i really love using because of the baseball bat once you get all seven books in that, a power attack, if it kills the enemy, will refill your stamina bar to full, which is um, which is very good. And also the art of mining's got a very good one as well. 20% chance of one hitting any ore. So when you're mining, that can really, really speed things up. So we're going to hand this treasure back in. And in the buried supplies and see what he's going to offer us. So be very resourceful. Here's your just way. my luck. We just bought the iron crossbow and now he's offering us one as a reward. But we're going to take the we're going to take the first aid bandages for now and see if he's got any other jobs. So he's got a fetch 171 meters away. Is that going to be northeast? We can check the map first. Now, northeast is going to be up this way. Okay, we can take that. I just didn't want it to be in this house here, the one that we stayed in overnight, because it could reset all our stuff in there. So we're going to take this. Help, friend. Godspeed. And we've got one here in a cabin. So let's head off to this cabin and retrieve these supplies so the graphics are starting to look really good in seven days to die now so we're just going to head to this cabin which apparently is just over this mountain so i decided to climb to the top of it just to have a little a little look at the countryside and the scenery and you've got to be very careful when you're going down these not to break your leg this is very steep. Uh, let's see if we can manoeuvre ourselves down. Keep yourself facing down and try not to run down. There we go. We can just slide down nicely. 74 metres. So where's this cabin? Ah, there it is. We really need to find ourselves an iron reinforced club and start getting some things together to get ourselves a bicycle so we can move around a little bit. Small stone. Now, is there any loot we can quickly grab? You can go through these twice. We can go and grab the loot and then restart it. But we're not going to do that now. Let's get ourselves started of our chairs for our free wood. So it's a bit of cloth. And at the beginning of the game, looting absolutely everything. So some food over there, which is nice. We've got a zombie closet over there as well. So let's put this away. A zombie just down here as well, actually. Yeah. 
Look at that. Go straight on to level three. So this is why I wanted the crossbow. And we've woken somebody up. Okay. Oh, we've got two of you. Guess I was back over here. Guess I was plenty of room. What are you two up to? Okay. That sorted you out then. That spaced you out. That's why you wanted to break through a reinforced door. But hey ho. Loot absolutely everything. Ah, oh, now that's an amazing find. So, with this acid, we can actually make ourselves some wheels. So, it might be worth specking into the bicycle. Got some red tea, always good. Some more. Go. Got these ones here as well. We're getting plenty of jars. Anything hidden up above? Above there? Not that I can see. Right. We got anybody in here? We got ourselves a bookshelf. We'll shut that door. And what have we got in the bookshelf? Here we go. So we got another book here. So this one's for the fireman's axe. And then we've got a schematic so we know how to make a silencer mod. I do note so that a silencing mod will decrease the damage on your weapon. Hello, cowboy. Oh, hello. What are you doing? I'm trying to do the YMCA on me. There we go. I'll sort you out. Hello. Oh. Uh, we've got a secret passage here leading into the bathroom. There we go. Oh, perfect. We've got a level three stumbit on here. So we'll be selling that for some dupes. Medical supplies do not need the grain alcohol on us. Now, it does sound like we've woken some people up down here. I'm going to run into that open space down there. Make sure I've got my shotgun ready. <laughs> Big mama. Come on. The shotgun helped us out. Sorted out one of them, and then we could sort out the other one. So... Okay, you've reloaded. And we do have... Oh, we've got a destroyed workbench here with a chainsaw. Now, that to me sounds like we've got maybe a roaming, wandering horde outside. So, we're going to take this workbench apart. Because that gives us some forged iron, which we need to make ourselves some tyres. So if we want to build a bike... We need all the forged iron we can get. So we'll take him apart. Don't forget, we can actually build a workbench. As we found the schematic in the first episode. We've got ourselves a bit of cloth. Food over here. Ammo pile. I think we are going to get joined by some zombies very shortly. No, we don't need that. We've got the, our proper axe. These things up. Egg and some rotten flesh. What have we got here? Right, some knuckles and some chest armor. We'll scrap the chest armor, take the rest. I don't want to end up too encumbered. Right, now there is a shortcut to get at yourself out of here Let's get this last bit of food is up here 
We're going to get ourselves in here. Brings us into the first room that we were in. Oh, no, that reminds me. We still need to grab the supplies. Over the supplies. They're on this floor somewhere. There they are. There we go. We've grabbed them. Now let's get out of here. It does sound like there's a wandering horde around us. Ooh, we have got a garage though, so let's have a quick check in there. Unlocked. Oh, we've got another another workbench. So we've got the schematic. 25% chance of dropping that. We actually already got that in the first episode. So that's another workbench that we can take apart. Now to build a workbench we do need to use a wrench and a hammer. So we haven't got a spare hammer at the moment. One thing we are going to need. Is there anything else in here? No. Right. Let's get ourselves back to the trader. Here we go guys, back at the trader. We are very, very encumbered. Got much spare room left? We've got a little bit, so we're gonna sell a few of these things Your money to him. Welcome. Here you go, friend. Whatever oh look at this. So we've got ourselves now a pickaxe. So let's just quickly see the jobs. Right, 987. Friend, we'll take that page. Cemetery. Well, so that's always good. There's a lot of lot of good loot in the cemetery. Usually a lot of ammo. So we're gonna sell this back to him because it's 160 jukes for nothing. We'll sell him the iron knuckles because we're using the club. We're not using the fisty cuffs. We've got another set there. Do you not buy two of those? Not interested. Okay, we'll scrap those then. Now. Baseball cap mod, we don't need that, so I'm going to sell that. I'm not a big fan of the spear. Uh, probably because every time I throw it, I miss. So I'm going to sell that off. I'm going to keep the shotgun, uh, because we can scrap that down for shotgun parts. But I am going to sell him stun baton. Now we did get a level 3 chainsaw. Now, we can chop down wood fairly well with this iron fire axe. So to get a, get ourselves an extra 540 jukes this early in the game, we're going to sell him that. There's no doubt we'll come across more chainsaws as we go along. Now, let's have a quick look and see if he's got a hammer for sale because if he does have a hammer for sale, then we can actually use that. our benefit and build ourselves a workbench that's got the wood splitter mod that we could put into our fire axe so that's 432 jukes we'll buy that we are going to need to look at repair kits but we can make those mining helmet which is very interesting a couple of books can't really afford those at the moment he hasn't got a hammer for sale right thank you so, survivor Check back soon. I get okay, thank you. you get too. yourself a hammer. So, I'm going to scrap that. Don't need the rotten flesh at the moment. We don't need the plant fibers at the moment. Right. Now, what we're going to do is try and run out the right way so we're not constantly running backwards and forwards to our home base. We're going to just build ourselves a quick drop chest leave it here you can't put it in the too close to the trader because of his protected zone we're just going to leave ourselves after we've sorted out this punk come on there we go it's going to make yourself a quick storage box Craft that and we're going to put you down there so we don't need to be carrying our dukes on us. One shotgun will do. Um, that away, that away, that away, that away. All of this away. And well, we definitely need to keep that. We don't need that on us. We'll be putting the mod on there. That. 
acid, the feathers, put the jars, and that will put the meat stew in there as well. We'll keep one bit of lamb rations on us, and the first aid bandages, we'll keep those on there as well. So there we go. We're going to quickly drink some red tea. Take two of those because we are thirsty. In fact, we'll eat the lamb rations now just so we haven't got the cannon on There we go. There we go. So we've got a nice clear inventory. And put this mod quickly on. Modifier. Fire axe, which does more damage against wood. There we go. Right. Now, so that quest... All the way over here. So we're going to ignore that quest because we've got ourselves quite a few dukes, and we're going to head back down where we did our first quest and have a look down in this direction. So back in this little area here, this is Bell's Bakery. That's what we went through yesterday and did a quest on day one. We have the Bear Den over there. We're not going to pop ourselves into that just yet. We're not really strong enough for that, but we're going to have a quick look this pawn shop over here and we don't need moldy bread that's used for making antibiotics which we have not specced into but speaking of specking into we do have a couple of spare points and we're not going to use them straight away because i want to see what kind of loot we can get in here see what direction we're going to be going into first so this isn't a quest we're just going to go through this. Okay. Ourselves a few more dukes. Now, all of the loot is behind this door. It's not the way to go. But the loot is behind there. So we're going to knock ourselves into here. Deal with the zombies in there first before we then take the proper route. So if you're looking to get yourself some nice easy loot, give these guys a hand. There's a good way. There we go. One more. There we go. Alright. Break yourselves out. Here we go. Now, did we reload our shotgun? We did. We haven't got many bullets for it. Six shells. You guys have put yourself into nice single file. What we like. Form a nice orderly queue. And we'll deal with you one at a time. Take a ticket and when it's your number, we'll sort you out. Just like that. Now there used to be a dog in here. Still the case. He's making a racket somewhere. Looks like it's above us. Right, let's quickly check through some of this loot. I don't like the sound of that. Let's try and sort out this noisy bugger here. Right, come on. Not sure where you came from, but you're annoying me, whoever you are. So we've got some more, right? Painkiller, okay. Some more ammo, yes. Some more shotgun shells. There we go. We've got ourselves some peas. We do. Looks like we have a little plug down here. Quickly open that up. Oh, we've woken some more people up. Nitrate powder. Oh. Our club is about to die, so that's unlocked. Good. So you get your hands in the right place on the keyboard. Oh, you running? Right, we sneak down. Very quiet, get a sneaky sneaky on. Boom. 
When you crouch down like that, you get an extra two damage, two times damage. And we can put points into that. Uh, I did see you come in. There we go. Right, let's close that door again just as a backup. What have we got in the chest? Oh, here we go. So we've got to sell some more nuggets and things that we can sell to the trader. And we've got a level 2 iron reinforced club. I sell some iron boots. So we're going to take the burning shaft mod out of this and we can say goodbye. And good riddance. Our basic club. Now modify this. Put our burning shaft mod in this. And then we're now doing 18. Our last one was doing 15. So we're much stronger straight away. We've got the hunting knife. So we don't need bone shiv anymore we can say goodbye to that too eat this food as we've got it here now scrap that and scrap that now throw the lead out and the nitrate because we are going to become very encumbered very quickly now let's get ourselves into these two oh got picks just what we need to get into that gun safe there We've got any food for us? Polymers. Now we need scrap polymers to build our tires. So I am going to be keeping an eye out for those. Right. So if we keep our finger on E, we can use a lockpick. So that took three out of my four lockpicks. Oh. And once again, as soon as we buy something, we get given it back. So Sod's Law. And we paid 400 jukes for it, but we can only sell it for 43. Oh, so we're going to keep hold of that, but we can actually put that into our pickaxe. Don't ask me why you can do that, but for some reason, Seven Days to Die does allow you to do that. Right, let's now start this quest where we were meant to actually go for it, following the light. Speaking of light, I'm going to turn the gamma down just a little bit. There we go. As we do have this burning shaft mod. It cause a little bit of glare. Starting on the roof. There we go. There we go. Let's go straight down. Making sure there's no vultures up here. Do have a friend. Oh. Eat your heart out, Robin Hood. And we haven't put any points into that yet. So that is locked. Okay, so again, follow the lights. Easy as that. Now that looks to me like it's going to be dropping you down into a bit of a a bit of a death pit. So let's do the sensible thing, shall we? Ourselves here. I don't actually see any zombies. We get ourselves any lower? Probably not because of that picture. Let's just get a shotgun out and we'll take our chances. Looks like we're actually okay, right. Oh, look at this. Here's zombies. We have got some books, cases, right. Let's clear ourselves a bit of room. Picking those chairs up. Sort you out of our new club. Here we go, one at a time, that's it. Oh. Risk to power attack. Now I stand the build back up and sort you out. Beautiful. And there is a cooking pot in here, so there you go. If you're looking for a cooking pot at the beginning of the game, go to the pawn shop. Right. 
Oh, there we go. So we've got a light we can put on a weapon. Paper. And some more paper. So we're going to read that schematic. Looking pot. We're going to keep... Uh, we're going to scrap that because we've already got a spare one back at the base. And scrap our chairs. Right. Anything else here useful? Really? Samphian plant. Well, here we go. Some trash. Mouldy bread and some brass. Eat the mouldy bread. Anything behind you? Medical. We've got some more polymers and an antibiotic. Now, you can take these off. You can hit these up, and that will give us a radiator. The brass. I'm going to do that to all of them. But just to let you know, that is something you can do. Plug here. Right, what have we got in the bathroom? Murky water. Blood bags. We do not need blood bags. And we've got him here. Rotten flesh. We need them. Need the rotten flesh to make ourselves a flowering, a farming plot. But again, we're not going to be doing that in the beginning of the game. Right, okay, so that's the way it wants us to go down, but we haven't looked at everything. A quick look at the kitchen. Some food. We've got a washing machine with a sink built into the top of it. Got ourselves a hood there. Okay, perfect. We've got ourselves another wrench. And the cooker's already open, so we're going to eat that. Scrap that, scrap that, scrap the padded hood. And we're going to scrap the... No, we're going to keep the nails because we haven't got a forge set up yet. Normally I would get rid of them. Let's have a red tea. There we go. Now it sounds like we've got some friends below us. Right, let's drop into here then. Unlocked. Right, we'll venture into there in a minute. Here we go. Oh. Oh, she's running. Right, I sorted her out. Always look for that XP in the bottom right hand corner. Oh my god, we're both terrible at this. There we go. Come on. Oh, we've got another friend coming through there. So there's a few various little bits in here that we can loot. Oh, you've made it through. Good job. There we go. Oh, we've got an untouched chemistry station here. It is destroyed. It's not giving us the schematic, but... We can wrench you up. Let's get ourselves some more forged iron. As always, we're getting majorly encumbered. It always seems to happen. I'm very, very good at that. That's why we made ourselves that drop chest. Anything else in here we can loot? Like over there, have we got anything over here? We've got a toilet. We could wrench up these, but we don't really need the parts at the moment. Uh, in here. Oh, that's the toilet. Let's have some more murky water. Looks like we've got ourselves a plug here. Apple bag. Some water. Get the garbage. Now, I do believe we can get in to buy the till. Yeah, through here. Oh, we've got a safe there as well. That till, unfortunately, is already open. The rubbish bin. Right, let's try and get into here. And look at that first time. First, first time. And we've got ourselves a hunting rifle. 
an iron sledgehammer that sells for a bit and a few 762 rounds right let's empty a few things out get rid of the chair scrap him we're going to sell that i'm not the biggest fan of the hunting rifle but i will keep it because it's only worth 10 dukes because there's not a lot of durability left speaking of durability we need to really seriously look at our iron reinforced club now i believe we can make a repair kit it takes duct tape and i believe forged iron which we actually have so repair kit forged iron and duct tape there we go so we're actually going to make three repair kits and we need the coal to make our tires if we have a quick look at our wheel what do we need we need some more scrap polymers oil we've got oil we need some more coal we've got the acid and we've got the forged iron so i know i've just used a bit of that but i knew we had some back in our drop chest right just sell a few of these bits quickly over to him so oh you won't buy it okay will you buy the stun baton yep buy that sell the gold 980 buy, will you buy the silver look at this another 1100 machete parts we'll sell them for the minute and i think we're going to keep hold of everything else okay now did you have anything else we need for the bicycle Now he has got the oil for sale, so we will check, see how much oil we've got. Great but we can, we have got wrenches, so we can wrench up the cars. So I'm going to grab all of our stuff and take this back to our base, which is going to be a very long and slow journey. So we've got 20 forged iron, so that's good. And we're actually full. So... I'm going to get rid of the feathers, take the first aid bandages. Now I can hear a little visitor. Were you checking out our house, were you? My house. So let's sort you out. The one thing I didn't do is wrench up the actual workbench. We actually got the schematic from. Well, another punk over here. We'll be careful with these skater punks, they're a bit faster than some of the other zombies. We will teach them a lesson. They have no manners. Right. So we're going to quickly wrench up this, get some more mechanical parts, get some more forged iron. And we're going to have the last thing we're going to do today, the day number two, is have a quick look at these skill points. So, taking him apart. go get ourselves back inside there is things like this that we can take apart which will give us electrical pieces and mechanical parts at the moment we don't need too much of that so put our frame down pick him back up again i've put ourselves a little flooring piece here so you can walk on those perfectly fine without having to upgrade them now let's put away a few of these things here now my stone axe did actually have this mod in it which i'm sure you were all screaming at the computer screen television screen mobile phone whichever you're watching on so we're actually going to take the wood splitter off that and we'll put the that mod in there which does more damage to iron Things we're going to be using that more often than not on iron. Um, we're actually going to leave that stone axe in there. Now, if we have a quick look at the points, we have three skill points to spend. Now, if we want to unlock Grease Monkey, we need to be... We can do that now, actually. So that's one point. Because we've got the nerdy glasses on, it automatically makes us level two in intellect. 
So if we put a point into blacksmith, we can build ourselves a forge. If we put a point into here, we can build ourselves the bicycle. Now, if we want to build the workbench, we can already do that because we've got the schematics. So we don't need to put the extra point in here, but we need a hammer. Now to build the hammer, I believe it's one point into minus 69er. Craft two. Craft quality two poor tools. Increase tool damage by 10% and block damage by 30%. One point into minus 69er. So we actually have all the items already to make a forge. So we're going to get that started. We'll put that in. So there's our forge. Put him right next to our bed to keep us nice and warm. Overnight, we're going to burn up some clay and burn up some of this scrap iron. We've got plenty of scrapped iron. Just going to quickly put some wood into there. So that sorts out your burning time. So we've got six minutes worth of burning time there. We've got plenty of scrap iron as we've been scrapping some things up. Here we go. We've got 1,300. So we might need to go and get ourselves some more clay. But at the moment, I'm just going to place that into there. So that's all for this episode. That's day two complete. I'm just going to spend the night here just doing a bit of crafting in here, making as much forged iron as we can. There we go. We've got six already that we can make in here. And we're going to go and try and find some leather bright and early tomorrow morning. So as always, big thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed it. Please join our community on Discord. All the links are in the description below. Any comments, also whack them down below. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, guys. See you later.